Welcome, welcome my fellow familiars, we continue the drunken series. The only difference here is I've got a standing desk. Okay, I gotta adjust this microphone, sorry about this guys. Yeah, we've got, uh, well I've got a standing desk at home, so. I think it's more fun to be drunk while trying to stand. No, um, we've got three lands. <sighs> I'll keep this hand. Just because there is the handware battlements. Hopefully, I'll hope for the best, but I have a bad feeling about this one. Gianni Constanda. And we've got Dragon Fodder. Beautiful. Clifftop Retreat of Yega. There we are. Oh, that is some seriously strong wine. Whew, that's good stuff. Now, we go with the Stone Baker. Next, when we play a land, I'll be putting the 3 1 allies. Vampiric allies, is this what it's gonna be? Let's see. I'm okay with it. Uh, come Stone Waker, if he chooses to block the Stone Waker, I'm absolutely fine with that. So, let's go Ether Hub. Let's go Stone Waker. Eventually, I intend to get the Waller and Agros out there, but for the time being, we'll stick with what we've got going on. So, turn 2, drop the land, I mean turn 3, drop the land, get the 3-1 red elemental. To swing with, uh, following that, I'll drop the Waller and Agros. What is this, uh, steward? Whenever you gain life, you may put, oh, damn, is he gonna pay? Yeah, he's gonna pay. Okay, now it's a 1-3. Well, let's see if he chooses to block my elemental anyways. He does, if he does, if he doesn't, he doesn't. Oh, oh, he swings. Okay, even better for me. I'll be hitting him for 5 damage there, so skip blocking. Let's go. Um, yeah, so there is the foundry of the consoles I'll be dropping. Then Valor and Akros, following that. Yeah, we'll play around to see what we do. Hmm. Not stone query for sure. So, handware battlements. I say pay, yes please, yeah I mean how else am I gonna tap this, come on, attack with all, and confirm what does this elemental look like, damn it look nice, okay there we are guys, I almost spilled the wine, Whew. okay, wait what, I thought it was supposed to be 5 damage, <gasps> oh yeah he gained some life because of the yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see. He drops another ally probably and puts a plus one, plus one counter. Probably on Syrian... Oh. Okay. He's going to be hurting us here, unfortunately. Oh, leave fast. You draw two cards, lose two life, and get... Okay. Now I'm wondering if I should do Stone Quarry along with... Um, Elemental? Follow that up with Valor and Akros, or how should I go about this? Because going by this logic, I can get call for unity out there pretty quickly. We're at 11 health, however. That's another thing that concerns me a little bit. We'll see. You know what? It's gonna be stone query. And I'm going to pay. We drop him down to 10 health. Oh wait. some. Oh yeah, this got vigilance. Damn it. Well, we swing. Confirm. Let's see how he goes about this. He takes 3 damage. Next turn he'll be hurting us though. Uh, Pies and Angel will be able to offset the damage that we're receiving just a little bit. I will very instantaneous. Well, okay. Call for Unity, Pies of Angel, along with Dragon Fodder. That's the intention right now. Or next turn I can do Pies of Angel with Dragon Fodder and then Call for Unity. <sighs> the only problem is he's hurting us a little bit here. So I'm not entirely too sure how to go about handling this in the nicest manner possible. Damn it, Dranus Emissary, it's a flyer too. There is the life drain happening. He can put the plus one, plus one counter somewhere, wherever he desires. I don't want to be blocking with the Kumstone Waker just yet. Damn it. Now he's got a constant engine for life gain. We're dropping to five health here. I gotta think this through, guys. Um, 
yeah, Call for Unity isn't coming up anytime soon. It will be Pious Evangel along with the Dragon Fodder. Four that are Foundry of the Council, so also of Gideon and maybe Valor and Akras. We shall see. Yeah, things ain't looking up for us, guys. Um, anyways, Pious Evangel. Come on now. Dragon Fodder for some life gain. We will be able to at least block something. Or two things. Maybe I should just block one thing. We'll see. There we go. There's the life gain. Can we actually make this? Can we? That is the question. Has first strike and menace. That's another good thing right there. But... Uh, I mean, I can do Kairi Zev along with Oath of Gideon and then follow that up with Valor and Akros or Call for Unity. We shall see. Okay, puts a counter there. Ah, oh, dang it. This ain't going in our favor, actually. There is the full on swing. I'll just be chump blocking Syrian Steward and nothing else. Hold on, he's got what? 8 damage out there. Do I want to be blocking? No, I'll take 8 damage. Come on, buddy. Give me that 8 damage. I'm okay with this. Yeah, there we go. Next turn, I gain, what? 3 life, we go up to 5. Yeah. Okay, Oath of Gideon. Kairi Zev. And we gotta be drawing into those lands pretty soon. Come on. Carries of Skyship Rider. There is more life gain. There we go. We're up to 5 health. At the very least, we can hurt the Kalastri Healer. At the cost of what? Losing Carries uh. Oh, life drain. God dang it. I keep on forgetting about this. Thopter Engineer needs to come in to help us. Yeah, maybe I should have played Thopter Engineer. That would have been a little bit smarter choice now that I think about it. Oh well. Puts 1-1 one, one counter right there. Yeah, we, we, there we go. There we are, okay. Now, can we draw into those lands? We really need to draw into those lands. Double block there. Block. Block and block. Confirm we can survive just a little bit longer. We gotta do something about it here guys uh, Top their engineer. I swing with the Kairi Zev uh, That's definitely going to give us some Life gain at the very least well one life gain, but that's fine plus three life gain from top their engineer Yes, we needed the slants. Okay, let's think this through first Wait for one two three four right? One, two, three, four. One, two. We don't have enough, do we? <sighs> Stop their engineer. There is the life gain. There is a flyer. There is some more life gain. Gosh darn it. This is not going good. There is another life gain from this. With the monkey. There we go. There is the monkey right there. Gideon's Reproach on Kairi Zef. Yep, that was to be expected. He is running white after all, but we do gain some life, so we're back up to 5 health here. The only problem is our opponent's a little bit too high up. Ugh. Okay, maybe I should go about sacrificing creatures. Yeah, maybe I should go about the evil way. It shall be the evil way. Let's do this. Things are going to turn real grim real soon. Come on, buddy. At the very least, we do get to gain some life. So there is the life drain. Who cares? We get to gain three life next turn because of the Pice of Angels feature. So he swings at us with everything. I'll be transforming Pice of. Oh, what the heck? Come on, don't kill Pious of Angel. Gosh darn it. If he does this, we're done for. Oh, and he does the plus one. Draw one card, lose one life. Okay, that's good by me. 
That is very good by me. Come on now. That's all. Oh yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Thopter. Confirm block. Pass. Sacrifice another permanent. We do have the mana for it, so sacrifice. Turn this round, and round and round. <laughs> okay, nothing happens for us, to us yet. Now, I have the following choices. I can either Foundry of the Consoles, but that's not gonna do us much. Well, that gets us some more blockers actually, now that I think about it. But then he has this gosh darn thing. Hmm. There's the 5-5. Five, five. That's a problem. Sacrifice. Yeah, we can gain some life at the very least, right? Let's swing with everything here. Straight at Obnixilis' face. See how he handles this. Yeah, confirm. We do get 3 life gain from this. And then I might be going Foundry of the Consoles. Oop, there's the bike gangs behind me. Oop, let's drink some wine to their health. That is good wine. Seriously. Okay. Hey, he lets it through. Now that's something. Let's then continue. Some more life drain. It's going to be Foundry of the Consoles. Hmm, the only problem is here. How the heck? Oh, he puts a counter there. Okay, well, I still do have my Foundry of the Consoles. He just gets life drained a little bit. Now, is he going to be doing the minus three? Please don't do the minus three, buddy. Please. If he does minus three, we're actually dead. Oh, he does the minus three. Uh, f fudge. Yeah, we're dead, guys, actually. Okay. Uh, choose another opponent to lose one life. We do gain one life. This buys us one more turn, but I don't see us making a comeback out of this, actually. Okay, I mean, fine, I can sacrifice another founder of the consoles, but that's as far as I go. Oh no, never mind. Jonas Emissary does finish the job. Okay, guys, uh, there is the Drunken series. Game number, I have no idea what, but I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your comments, and I'll be seeing you in other episodes. Okay, then. Bye! Woo. Oh, well, c'est la vie.